guys it's me omar welcome to the channel welcome if you're new before we get into this calming build video i do want to thank you guys again for the last two videos well reception and as always thank you guys i do want to do a small giveaway two welcome passes gonna select two random winners one winner each one gets one welcome the other gets another welcome i don't know why i made that so much more confusing than it is and the winner will be selected randomly by the 16th of february so if you would like to enter be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below who your favorite and your least favorite Genshin character is. Um, so now I'll jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And hey guys, it's me Omar. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Um, today we're doing another build video. We're building Gaming here. And our Gaming, let's take a look at his cons and everything. We currently have a C6 constellation gomming and all it cost me was my dignity my integrity and a c2 zen union and i'm very much on defense about going for c6 maybe at some point but back to gomming we do need to collect his materials his boss battle as well as artifacts for him uh, his ascension material is the blue seashells the star conch which is the same uh, ascension material that uh Yelon uses as well as tartaglia not sure why tartaglia uses it but he was introduced during leo so that makes sense and i do have a farming route i go for for these seashells i haven't used it since uh getting my yelon to level 90 but i do have a path which we're going to use and i'm excited for as well as just building him i did try him out in the trial and he's really cool he's a plunge of dps and he does benefit greatly from having a uh Jin Yun on your team as well as a farina bennett also helps him a lot but the issue is my bennett is not built so maybe that'll be another build video in the future building uh bennett i also need to build farzan because i do want to do a dps zen yun so let's go ahead and start farming for gaming's ascension materials now yep so how i go around go around uh leo a map is i start off at around this section over here and i go through this beach side shoreline go here and then i go over to the guyon stone forest and get the uh, seashells there it probably isn't the most, you know, properly maximized, utilized route, but it works for me, and so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a marker over here, just so I know where to go, because I have a Zoro-level sense of direction. I will get lost going in a straight line, and let's go now. I also do want to see how much damage coming will do right now without, you know, being leveled up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll just go with regular gaming. So that's about, I don't know how much damage that was. Um, let's do it again, because I'm low-key blind. 206 damage, okay. So let's see what it becomes with uh, Zen Yun's buff. Okay, that went up a, a bit. Yep, I think so. Did it? Okay, yeah, that went to like 4k or 400. Let's try it again. Okay, no, it's still the same. Really hasn't gone up too much. Oh, God. There we go. Um, I do want to avoid fighting as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and uh, blitz through here with Yelon and avoid fighting as much as we can. They don't really feel like fighting people right now. Especially not slimes. They're annoying. Let's keep going. Yeah, this is like my test and true um, farming route that I used in the past, and it still works great. I'm sure there's probably loads of better farming routes you can take, but this is what works for me, and so therefore I'm using it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm using this route. There's a seashell here. It's always over here. Uh, chances are we might actually have to go ahead and go into other people's worlds as well to get some more, you know. There's no end. Essential material for Cloud Ra not for Cloud Retainer, uh, for Gaming. Oh, I almost missed that. Like right here, see? I knew I wasn't crazy. Oh, there's a common chest here. Okay, so it turns out my exploration route was not as explorative as I thought it was. I only got, I think, like 45 
of his materials. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty horrible. I'll probably have to turn up the interactive map. Turn on the interactive map soon. But we're gonna go ahead and do his boss battle a little bit too. And let's go ahead and claim this first and foremost. Uh, we got the mining thing out the way. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the boss battle quickly. And this is gonna be a cycle of back and forth boss battle. This, that, that, and this. For the longest time now. And I'm not looking forward to that. I think I'm only getting him to level 80. Because we don't need to get him to 90, I don't think. I'll have to watch a video or two to see what exactly he does offer. I should probably replace him with someone who can actually fight. Um, we'll do my go-to team comp here. And switch him out for... Um, right in here. Stay close and, you will live. and let's go into this fight now. So how I go around, so how I go about this fight is I go in with Raiden, Eve, I bring out her little pets, I go this, I go bam bam bam, and this the doom, and then bam bam bam, the chow, and I go here, and I just use my DPS genuine. And there we go. That's how I fight with her. I am still on the lookout for better materials, better artifacts for my Zinyun, getting her, um, you know, DPS skills up. She does, she has had an increase in crit rate as well as crit damage since my last video on her. So it's a slow work in progress. Uh, we still have the resin issue going on. Amy only got two. Are you kidding me? Electro damage bonus with like the most worst of the worst substats. Okay. Well, good thing we aren't worried about an electro goblet. Yep, so we did some more exploration and we found ourselves in the Dragon Spine area where there are some star conches around this area. So if you didn't know, now you do. If for some reason you don't use the interactive map, which I ended up using. Uh, now we currently have for our gaming 66 out of, I think uh, we're gonna need like 168 overall. Or like subtract three, so like 165. So we're like 99 short, so we're going to have to go into other people's worlds. We're going to go do the boss battle one more time, and then we'll do the rest of it like a, in a speed montage form. And then we'll do a comparison in terms of like the damage output from before and after, because I did have that on recording, so that's great. Um, I'm See, I'm learning. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, yes, we have Gaming on our team this time, because why not? Get some friendship on him. Yelan is already maxed out friendship. To get some friendship here maybe we'll even use him to get like a, a little hidden you know a hit or two oh my good okay well this this thing is you know not wanting to die he's not going down easily but now he's going down okay i'm just using everyone but cloud retainer right now there we go we won. Great. No problem. We even had Gaming get a hit in there. How much damage did he do, you ask? I don't actually know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just trying to get the, get the fight over with. And we got three pieces. That's awesome. I think we need... I don't know how much we actually need. Let's actually see how much we're going to need. That's actually a pretty good piece. Crit damage and crit rate. Not going to lie. That's pretty good. Pretty goaded. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what how much boss material he needs. We already have the first one, so we can ignore... Or, we, okay, so two, six, 14. I can do math. I swear I can. 14, 26. So we need 26 material, 26 boss pieces, boss drops. And we're currently at 11 out of 26. So we are short exactly 15. No, yeah, yeah, 15. I think 15, yeah? I think so. 15. We're short 15. Okay, guys, we're back. Oh, okay, sure. Well, we'll let you talk loud. Okay, Shinyun, I'm sorry. Okay. okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, hey, okay, so quick update on the speed montage intermission going on. Um, we have Gaming here. We have almost enough. We need one more boss battle, and we can have him up to level 80. And we have two problems, actually. Three, depending on who you ask. So the first problem are talents. We can't see what his talents are, but they're the... Uh, prosperity book and his talents uh dungeon is only his talent domain books are only on thursdays uh mondays thursdays and sundays or saturdays i believe so that's one issue 
I think we might have enough to get his skills to 666 and maybe 88 for his like EN burst. I think. Maybe we'll see. And the other issue are his artifacts. We don't have any artifacts for him. His best in slot are actually the Merachuse. I'm, I know I'm butchering that pronunciation. Or a combination of two pieces to give him like attack because his plunge attacks do scale off of attack. Or giving him, you know, something simple and basic like the Vermilion set, I believe. So that's our issue. Um, artifacts and that. Um, I want to get this video out as quick as I can. So we're going to hopefully get what we can by Thursday. Because I want to get this video out by tomorrow, hopefully. Ideally, we'll see what happens. Um, so let's go ahead and fight this boss battle one more time. Of, of course, we're not actually going to use Gaming. He's kind of just here to look pretty. Uh, you know, he, he's here to look pretty and, you know cheer from the sidelines um we're gonna use our dps genuine because why the heck not oh my goodness okay let's go and bam he does have a shield but once the shield's broken he's over look at that 57k 51k oh he's dead already our genuine is pulling in damage i'm telling you um, she only gets better. It's only up from here uh, as I get better and better uh, Artifacts for her. Let's go. We have enough. We're gonna go ahead and start ascending him. I hope. Oh, sure Give me a three. Why don't you at the very end when it doesn't fucking matter? That's not bad. Like that could be a decent off piece for Yelan. Maybe we'll see what happens um, Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just level up our Gami now. I Think we have enough to level him up. Do we? I hope <laughs> Should I like Let's see. Let's see if I have everything I need. I do. Except, obviously, we don't have that. But that's fine. We aren't using that. Let's level him up to level... Oh. Well. <laughs> Never mind. We can't level him up yet. We have to use our books. Oh, God. I'm running low on books. I need to get books, too. That's fine. That's fine. I send him up. Auto-add. I think we should have enough books. We'll have to do some book farming, though. Which is really annoying. Ooh, we might be low on slime, actually. I have like over 800 of the base slime, so we have, worst case scenario, we'll just go ahead and um, craft some more. And we also get two wishes. That's awesome, actually. Maybe I can get a Yao Yao. I know I'll get a Yao Yao from the Lantern Right uh, selector. Oh, damn. I'm... Well, we're going to quickly go ahead and get three more of those little ugly seashells. So I was muted. <laughs> I'll probably have a little voiceover in that moment, but that's actually really embarrassing. Hi, Taramba. Okay, love you, Zinyan, but can you, like, hush for a second? <laughs> okay, well, anyways, we got our Gami to level 80. Um, our first ever four star up to level 80. Um, Yanfei is a close second, and he's a pyro. I don't have any pyro units, so maybe we'll have some fun with him. And we are going to do a... I think we're going to give him, like, you know, we're going to put him in a vaporized team. We're going to probably play him with Yelon and Farina. So I'm probably going to give him, like, some kind of weapon that utilizes, you know, elemental master, like, EM stats or something. Uh, we'll start off by giving him a better sword. I think for him, ER is important. But we have this R2. <laughs> we can actually make it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't really work for us. Um, so this is not bad. It gives him a... No, I, mm, I don't know what we want to... Okay, I think I'm going to... As you can see, my claymores are really not built. And I don't even think I can build it. I, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, nope, I, did, <laughs> I have to wait till Friday to do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and give him just a basic weapon. We could do this, but also, like, this is Navia's weapon. And I feel wrong taking it from Navia. Maybe we can give him the title Shadow. Which, we do have enough to actually level this up. And this does actually benefit him because it does give him an attack bonus as well as, you know, whenever he gets healed, he gets a 24% buff. So, we'll give him this for now. We'll probably build the Rain Slasher at some point because of the EM stat. Uh, but for now, we'll just go ahead and use this. And we can get like an R4. No, an R5. Yeah, that's two. And then one, two, three, five. An R5 um, Rain Slasher at some point. I'm going to go ahead and give him the, this sword. And we're going to enhance it as much as we can or ascend it I, I should say i know i'm i'm a, I'm a rebel 
we have. I don't know how high we can get it up to. We do. We probably can ascend it to maybe level 80. Maybe. I think 80 is fine, right? I think so. I don't think we need anything crazy for the weapon. I'm probably not going to bother getting it to level 90 for a, a long time. Uh, because I don't have the materials, the resources to do so. And let's go ahead and get his talents up as high as we can with what limited resources we do have. I do think I'm going to level up as normal. Okay, let's start off with like his burst first. Ooh, that's a go. <laughs> okay, luck. Oh, this is hurting me. Luckily, we do have a little boost from his like C6-ness. So he has like already like a head start. Mm, this is really bad. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 That's actually not bad. Okay. That's not bad. We can get these to level seven, maybe. You know, it's good enough. With, with, with the materials that we have, I think it's fine. I think it does a trick. We can get this, you know, up to level five, I think. Just to be fair. Let's get his burst up actually a little more. Okay. <laughs> it's hurting me. It really... Ooh. Okay. It, it hurts. It, it does. Okay. Well, we can, that, that's about as far as it goes. Okay. Well, 477. Seven. I think that's fine. We, it is technically not a true 7, but it, it's fine. Let's also go ahead and redeem our... Whatever this is. <laughs> Spend 50,000 Mora or 500,000. And I think just overall in terms of damage, he should do more damage now. Um, we'll do a comparison after we get him a proper artifact set. Look how pretty it is. It really is so pretty. Like, Lantern Rite, beautiful. This is my first ever Lantern Rite, actually, I'm experiencing in the game, so that's exciting. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we, you know, we finished up our Gomming. He's definitely not the best Gomming there is. There's definitely better. But I think my Gomming is decent-ish. He's, he's a mid-build Gomming. He can probably deal some damage in the Abyss. I've seen him pull out like 130 plus k 190k vaporized damage so he's definitely decent for the most part and let's go through his artifact set and then we'll go into his you know showcase in a moment so for talents we couldn't get him too high we only got him up to four seven eight uh main reason being i don't have resin and his books are a book i did not have a stockpile of as for his constellation, he is C6, and his C6 actually gives him an extra 20 and 40% crit rate and crit damage, respectfully, um, to his E skill. So essentially, whatever his current uh, crit rate and crit damage are, just add 20 and 40 to it. So really, it's higher. So let's go into his details. So he has 52% crit rate, which is technically 72, and we use our E and uh, 107 percent crit damage which is technically 147 so really he's like a 72 to 147 percent crit rate crit damage dude and also his pyro damage we actually got really lucky and got a really good pyro a goblet i believe for him so let's go ahead and go into his artifacts uh we did do some artifact grinding for the last two days i went for a two piece two piece i would have gone for a, a meritrici i know i'm pronouncing it wrong once again but I decided, hey, <laughs> I kept getting golden troops and I didn't have resin to spare like that. So I said, you know what, screw it. I have some uh, Wanderer's Troop set uh, pieces already laying around that gives 2% or 2 piece gives an 80% elemental mastery, which is good for his vaporized damage that I'm kind of going for. And then he also, you know, the two Crimson Witch Flame pieces also gives him like a 15% pyro damage bonus, which is good because he's a pyro character. And I don't have any of those pieces, so I went and farmed them. And we got some good pieces, actually. So we'll show the two that we actually put on him. So here's his um, sands. It's a, it's an attack, you know, plunging. It's got some EM, you know, some crit rate. It's fine. It, it is what it is. It's fine. It's not leveled up all the way because we don't have any artifacts to use on it. Um, his goblet is actually a pyro damage goblet with, again, mediocre crit rate. But ER... In attack and some HP because he does he do, uh, use his own HP when making his attacks. We gave him this, which is a crit rate. It's decent. It's okay. It's not the best. Uh, we gave him this uh, feather again, good crit damage, but <laughs> very mediocre crit rate and some attack percentage. And then we have this flower, which again, same same deal, mediocre crit rate, but really good crit damage in my opinion, and some EM as well to, to boot. 
no. So that's kind of a set that we have going on for him. Two piece, two piece uh, bonuses. Uh, his overall stats. And let's go in the team comp. I could see him being put into is maybe like a uh, Farina Yelon uh, Cloud Retainer uh, team comp. Or even one with Raiden. We're, we're, we're going to try one with Yelon and stuff first. Yelon and Farina. So let's go to a boss battle. Okay, we're here. Oh, he's in. Okay, Electro. Okay. Okay, I 138k right there from a mediocre build gomming and a very scoffed run there. Uh, that was very quick work, no problem at all. And also, quick little update on my um, uh, Zen Yun escapades. I have unfortunately got her to C4 and I may or may not be trying to get her to C6, but I am F2P, not a single penny wasted. Wish me luck, guys. Alrighty, we're going to try uh, gomming out in the abyss uh, because we can get his burst and I know these uh, enemies will not, you know, fall to us too quickly so we can see some damage output as well, hopefully. Um, we're going to go ahead and do Farina, uh, Cloud Retainer, Galon, and gomming. In the second half, we really don't care because I'm not actually going to play it. So, we'll just do something basic, something simple. Why not? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't really care. They're not going to be used. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. Bam. Do some of this. Seize the sky. Skyward. Quiet now. You're about to get dicey. Mighty mythical beast. Okay, I saw like 100k there. That was like, that was a little less though, so. We are having a little bit of ER problems, but not like anything like substantial. Okay. Let's do this one here now. Okay, I see a lot of big damage. Okay, like 110k damage. Okay, yeah. So, he is definitely, you know, pretty good build. Yeah, because that was really good. I think Argoming is really nicely built. Um, he's not the best built Gomming there is out there. But for me, he's great. And... That's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and share it with your friends and family. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Um, we'll see what that is. <laughs> so, hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you guys are in the world. And bye.